big planet. You're a little sack person. This one is you. Oh, bless. You're quite a cute one. Now, to move around, use the left stick. Just push it a little for dainty tippy toes, or push it all the way to run like your sacking depends upon it. And don't forget your three J's. Jump, jump, jump. Give the action button a short, sharp press for a small hop, or hold it down for a huge, boundy leap. On you go. Okay, I just had to wait till uh, Stephen Fry would stop narrating for a second. So, hello, and welcome to my Let's Play series on Little Big Planet for the PS3, which is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. And as you may or may not notice, I got LBP1 Lego Shi. Or at least the, the best I could do with what this game has. So we're going to be playing the story mode. And we might be playing some of the subsequent DLCs. For, for now, we're just playing the introduction. So this is a very weird game. For a lot of reasons. This intro section is already really weird. And... I don't know. It's got some cool stuff, I guess. I haven't played this in a while, so... But I, I know how this game works. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Rex. I have an idea. Wait, hold on. Oh, Rex, no! Oh, I stopped it. Okay. Happy with yourself, Rex. I had to do that because I messed up. So I think I'll just do one world per episode, which might count for eight major episodes, I guess. We'll go through this. This is just the most basic of basic introductions. Oh yeah, you got, you got. Me. Nathan and Moo. Is that his actual name? Max. Max the Mechanic. Martin. Alright. Now, you husband. probably want to look stylish and sexy as you're gadding about Little Big Planet. So you need to know how to get your kit on. Or how to put your glad rags on. Press the menu you don't button need to, see this. to this is access just how to get your costumes. pocket. Thank you. Yay! That's cool. Okay, it's time to shake things up a bit. If you tilt the wireless controller you're holding, you can animate yourself. I have a cable Press controller, the left so I'm not going to use motion controls between in this moving game. your head and, and your, your pelvis. pelvis. You can change your sack person's expressions too using the directional buttons. Come on then, give us a little smile. Press the up button. Come on. Ah, see, you're happy. Look, there's all material down here. On Press the, floor. the down button and you'll become oh, down. No. Look at that. A face like a smacked bottom. Press the left button and you go all worried. <gasps> what was that? Press the right button and you get all cross and tough. By holding down the limb buttons, you can use the sticks to control your arms. Yes, you can That's stop cool. being mean and moody now. We're all very impressed. You can see the dissolved material go down. I actually love this, this uh, logo. Alright, so now we're gonna play the first level, the first actual level. First Steps by the King in the Gardens. 
Learn to run and jump. We got all this. <laughs> oh, look at my garden. It's all my own creation. I'm gonna go to help my wife, the queen. A big adventure awaits you, so good luck. Sure, come on. Because I already played this. So, I'm this little guy. Because I've played this before. Okay. I'm to show me your running and jumping skills. Show me. Hold on the X button for a longer jump. Yeah. This game is pretty easy once you actually have the mechanics all set. So, I'm this guy. A sack person. Collect bubbles. And I'm just supposed to go on an adventure. It's a platforming adventure. This is all just basic instructions. But, uh... But I do love this game. And I love the way this game looks. This game looks so pretty for no reason. On PS3, it's awesome. OV2 kind of ruined it. Oh, that lethal looking water. Yeah, OV2 kind of ruined it. OV3 looks awful. I love how the they made this water look. That was cool. I don't know why they let you go down there, but I'll just see the effect. Some useful items. Yeah, so clothing. Big ass from this game. I'm going to start with the leather she outfit for now. Uh, I can make it. I can't make it. So, if you get stuck, just do this. I guess, because it takes you to the other side. Please, please take this card, the stickers, and press the button on the top. Oh, it's only him to pass, but he needs his shirt and shoes. This game, you have stickers. Which I've heard before, because I played LWP3, but... We got these nice rainbow shoes and the tuxedo. There you go. That's Henry for you. That's so beautiful. Yay! Crazy party. That's cool. Place me smack down. You don't even know that. <laughs> Finally, checkpoint. Oh yeah. Well done. Finish level. I'll sacrifice the same from the scoreboard. Let's see how well you did. I did worse than my last score. So I'll go off that. Oh, I love this drunk camera zoom that they do though. I missed that. So one crazy thing, the load times here are much faster than the OMP3. Let's do level 2. Get a grip. I don't to grab things. So now... Yeah, this is all just random objects they have. <laughs> Time to get a grip. Grab some materials in the R1 button. Press going on these walls and you'll get the idea. So you can grab in this game. You can grab objects. Grabbing is an important mechanic, you're going to be using it a lot. As it's pointed out, it's technically impossible to beat this game without grabbing anything. But, um, but there is a minimum amount. I think it's like 12? Oh, 12. That's it. 12 grabs the minimum. I am a woman. I'm a woman steed, I am. Grab my soft material, which is here for some reason. It's weird. I wanted to recreate these horses when I was younger. Because I was like, kind of cool. Ah, no! Jeez. No more things. I'm dragging the horse to the X-Bot. Oh, I love I'm gonna do a bit of a trick, because I know you can do it here. 
RCJ. I'm, I'm, I'm like okay with RCJs, but I'm still kind of trash with them, and I'm really trash at LCJs. Like I really need to practice with them. Well, challenges and score challenges. You can look that up. So I'll show you. I'll just do this because, I mean, it's not hard. Let's see? Oh. Doing great. This is our decoration. I'll just show you the secret sticker down here. Yeah, see? This horse needs some assistance. Oh, okay. I should not. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay. Put the tail. Big tail. We're going crazy. Several tails. Ready for a race? Get to finish post as quickly as possible. Great possible bonus. Come on, those tails help with uh, aerodynamics. I right, really get in grips with the, the basics. I'll play some other school. It's all right. I'm not jumping around like this. I have no idea. Yeah, these first few levels are really short. So, but we'll get into more of these. Alright. Finally, Skate to Victory. This is the last of the major levels before we finish this episode. And it introduces the concept of racing, which is cool. <laughs> Easy stuff is now over. Beyond these tranquil hills lies a scary castle. Got the birds over there to get going. Perfect. Oh, all right. Oh, this is some good music. It's also gonna get. Uh, honestly, this entire. All these videos are gonna get copyrighted. Strike this. Ah! Ah! I can't get down. Let's see. Uh, no, I'll take the normal route. Grab this one more bird. I also want to recreate these birds for some reason. Use camp to create your own stickers. I don't need to do that. Where the jetpack can move around here? Northeast. So, this is the weight puzzle. And I actually like the mechanics of how this works. You can easily just pull it down. But of course, that's like temporary, I guess. But well, what I can do is I set sponges to add weight to them. It's weird, I thought there were five of these. There's only four. Alright, fine, whatever. I I can take care of that. Spooky music. Speed run trick. Oh, hold on. Speed run trick. And that's how you don't speed run this game. I remember when I first played this game, these ghosts actually used to scare me. Just because... I... It's not because of how they look, it's just the sound effects are really weird. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! You ghost. Jump. Thank you. I like these permanent gate switches they have, but honestly, they don't have to show it off. They can just have it in a certain corner. Actual spooky castle. The ultimate haunted house level. Wow. 
is a special cooperative challenge. The little sack person times two sign just means that you need a friend to help unlock the prize pool with the bottle. You do, actually. There you go. No, really bad idea. There's a reason why they have this. Okay, I am not doing great right now. Hold on. Alright, grab the sponge. That's cool. More copper out of the reserve. Exactly what I need. Careful, you made it through. Grab the skateboard and jump up so we can get out of here. Why do we have to go to a castle? And that, that never made any sense to me. Oh, I am so sorry, Skip. Well, I don't have to. I'm the first of the creator curators. You'll need seven more on your quest. Of course, you'll expand to meet the next creator. So, submarine time. One. I guess she's not even slightly happy about that for some reason. Well, I finished the gardens, so I will conclude this episode here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.